Welcome, if you are new here. We are going to get so much done in this video. <laughs> I've seen the trend of, um, like, how much can I crochet in 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, 2 hours, whatever. And I really want to try. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, so if you're working on something, go ahead and grab something, crochet along with me, drink some tea, drink some water, eat some snacks, I don't know, clean your room <laughs> while this is on. Yeah, hang out with me while I see how much I can crochet. So unlike some of the other videos that I've watched on this, I can't focus on anything for more than a few minutes at a time. <laughs> so I thought it would be pretty impossible to make myself go all day, like, camera decided to die on me, which was pretty rude. But as I was saying, instead of doing 24 hours as in like start at 7 a.m., end at 7 a.m. the next day and take a bunch of breaks in the middle, I thought it would be more mentally forgiving, but also more productive to just clock a total of 24 hours of crocheting this week. We'll see if it's actually easier or if I am just telling myself I'm gonna do more than I can handle as usual. But I have a lot of projects that I need to work on. I will show you all of that stuff in a minute. So anyway, let's get to crocheting before my camera dies again. By the end of this video, I think I will feel very accomplished and I hope you do too. Either that or just inspired to start that project that you've been putting off or to finally finish that thing that's been sitting in your closet. I'm just loving the lighting right now. These lines are very like, 2016 Instagram photography account, you know what I mean? Honestly, I'm feeling very White Woman's Instagram by Bo Burnham right now. All right, I'll get on with it. Hello, update. So I got a custom request, kind of, from a friend of mine. I posted one of my bucket hats on Instagram and she said, wow, cute. And I said, wow, you want one? So we are going to do a trade and I am making a custom hat for her and she is going to send me some herbs or something. I forget what she said. I didn't feel like going to the craft store and I kind of wanted to try out some cotton yarn. So I researched some online and I found Love Crafts. It's a website. I've never heard of it before, but I've never bought yarn online before. So if you know any really good online yarn retailers, uh, let me know in the comments because I don't know. I just want to find more yarns that aren't at Michael's. But anyway, it came today and the package was much smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I really don't know if I'll have enough to finish this hat. I guess we'll find out. But color wise, she said she's really into mustard recently and she always loves blue. So I came up with this color scheme. I love that it comes in a little bag. Look how cute these colors are together. I think I'm gonna do like kind of a sunflower thing. But anyway, this is the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton and it's a worsted weight, medium weight, number four. And um, this is 100% cotton. So I have been wanting to try 100% cotton. And um, she works outside a lot. So I wanted something that was a little more like breathable and natural. Isn't that pretty? It is a little thinner than the medium weights I usually work with, so hopefully it will be fine and my hat pattern will work for this. I have faith that it will work out, and if not, I'll just order more yarn. Isn't that combo so pretty? I can't wait to make this. Oh, I forgot to tell you the colors. Anyway, this is denim, this is goldenrod, and lemon. All right, now we can get started. Here are just a few of the projects that I'm working on. This is my cute Nintendo Switch, by the way. If you wanna see how I customize that, that's on my gaming channel and you can see a link in the description, but you're here for crochet. So this is a sweater that I started, a patchwork sweater. I actually started this in April and I was gonna make a video about it, but I forgot about it in my closet. You know how it goes. So we are finishing that this week. I promise you. That video might already be up by now. If it is, go check it out. I have this cotton yarn that I'm using for a bucket hat. I did just open this package. I don't know if you saw that clip before or after this one, but there it is. And um, I just started this cat bed yesterday that I need to finish. And then I have a whole closet of supplies and a whole brain full of ideas that may or may not happen. Let's see how we do. 
Gotcha. We are also cat sitting my friend's two cats this week, but I'm sure they will be making their appearances in this video as well. Oh, sorry, hold on. I gotta pause my UFO documentary. All right, now we're good. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday. It's 7 p.m. I got my decaf, whatever that is. And the first thing I'm gonna work on is this sweater. Finally, I have my references from the video that I watched. I don't really know how I'm gonna sew them together yet, but I'm gonna do slip stitches, maybe. Single crochets, maybe. Uh, we'll see. I'm watching alien documentaries. I couldn't decide <laughs> what to watch. I literally spent an hour trying to figure out what to watch and didn't find anything, so that's what I'm watching. Hi, sweetie, you wanna come say hi? This is Mama. She is visiting. She is so sweet. a very very bad mental day <laughs> but we will get some crocheting done Okay, so the things I was trying were not working. So I wanted to do like a white seam in between all the panels. I don't know, to kind of tie it in with the white a little bit more, but that was not working as you saw. So I decided to do just a like pretty janky slip stitch on the wrong side. It looks pretty okay. It's got kind of like a bubbly effect, which is fun. Um, but you can see the seams if you pull it apart a little bit. I don't know. I probably will not wear this color scheme much, so I'm not really worried about this. Plus it's the first sweater thing that I've ever made. Also pretty sure that these seams will bother me greatly <laughs> because they're very thick, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll just keep doing this. This is how I'm going to do it. So I just need to get it over with. Also, I my least favorite part of crochet is sewing these ends together. The ends with the stitches on the top that you can actually see our stitches are fine. But these, I just, I freak out. Like, are you supposed to go like one in here, one in here, two in here? If someone has like a good answer for me, please let me know because it drives me crazy every single project. All right, that's it. <laughs> Back to aliens.
hello. So I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I am doing a um, crochet academy hosted by uh, TL Yarn Crafts. I think that's her Instagram name. And she's doing like an Instagram trivia thing tonight. So I am ready <laughs> to turn that on. And I think I'm going to work on, I'm also boiling pasta. So I'm talking very fast because it's going to be done any minute now. And while I'm watching that, um, I don't know if I'll get any of the trivia right, but I'm going to work on this. I was trying to make a case or like a purse that would hold a switch case. Um, and I made this and it ended up being way too long because uh, with the weight of the switch, it stretches out to like <laughs> this long and it's way too long for a switch. So I'm gonna try to make another one and after I do that, I think I'll just um, like write up a pattern for it so that I can make custom ones. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna work on now. For that Instagram live, I was in the mood to watch more of Tony's content. So I think that's just gonna, what I'm gonna watch for the rest of the night. I'm currently watching her 25 plus crochet hacks for beginners. Um, if you don't know what her channel is, it's TL Yarn Crafts and you should definitely check it out. It's been about an hour and a half. So I have this much done in an hour and a half. So there we go, that's a little better. Uh, this one's kind of lemony. I might make it like lemon theme, give it like a, a green handle thing, not handle, strap, crossbody strap kind of thing. Almost two hours today, and then yesterday I did two hours on the cardigan. Yes, I have been wearing the same outfit for three days. I have showered. I'm not ashamed, okay. Yeah, so we have almost four hours down of our 24 hours, so one six, 20 more hours to go. I think I will definitely finish this by Monday. I wanna be done with these 24 hours by Monday, which I think I can do. It is currently Wednesday. We are um, gonna have very sore hands. I can't wait to get some ergonomic hooks because this is painful, but I'm having fun, okay? I love, I really just did this to give myself an excuse to crochet all day long. I changed clothes. It's been a couple days. I think last time we left off, it was Wednesday. Um, now it is Friday. I am making some coffee um, very quickly because I don't know why I started filming this before I had my coffee made. My hair is really gross because we were just at the pool. I did about two hours at the pool. 
but it's a public pool so I like didn't want to bring my camera I thought that would be weird and then I got a few more hours just like while we were watching TV the past couple of days so I think I am at seven or eight hours. I'm gonna go with eight hours, but uh, let me show you what I got done. So I did some more work on this cat bed. I think I'm gonna need to block it because it just keeps puffing up like this. Uh, the cats actually really love it already. I think I will make more to sell, but this one's definitely theirs because all of them have slept on it already. At the pool, I made these scrunchies. I think there's seven of them. I still need to tie them off. Yes, I love making scrunchies because they work up so fast. I also worked a lot on my cardigan. So I have the sleeves, there's the other, or no, these are the front panels. And this is the back. It looks like a really cute quilt. I wanna try to make a quilt like this, I think. Um, it's not perfect, but it's here. And I have the, one of the sleeves started. And then last but very much not least. Hi. Okay, there's your daily mama. Um, so that switch bag that I mentioned um, that I was working on that I started the other day. Um, here she is. I made it a lemon. I think it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not really gonna focus, but it's really nice. It fits a switch hard case perfectly. I actually posted it on Twitter already and I already have an order. I got an order like an hour after I posted it and it has, I think right now it's at like 30 retweets and 300 something likes, which is really cool. So I have to go to the craft store today and get some more yarn to make those. Um, I hate leaving the house, so that'll be hard. And also I only have enough in my bank account for exactly one skein of yarn. <laughs> so it's a struggle. Um, so I'll go get more yarn and then I think we'll be able to finish that bag today because I'm just going to crochet the rest of the day. Alright, yarn has been acquired. Just needed one. I think I'm going to watch um, Bo Burnham's Inside again for who knows what time. I made my own iced oat milk. Coffee. Oh my god, I got sunscreen in my eye. <laughs> Um, using very cheap grocery store coffee because I absolutely cannot afford another Dunkin' this week. I shouldn't have gotten the first one, but you know what? We're gonna make it. Ow! Sunscreen hurts. When I was at Michael's, oh my god, when I was at Michael's, um, they had a hiring sign. I might apply. I might apply. I'm waiting to hear back from some other jobs, but if they don't respond by Monday, I'm working at Michael's, okay? All right, so anyway, I'm gonna watch Inside again, probably. I want to finish this cardigan first so I can finish making that video and finally publish it. Um, it shouldn't take too long. And then next order of business is this bag for an order. And then I need to finish that bucket hat. I need to start and finish that bucket hat, but that only takes like uh, three hours for those. Anyway, I don't know. So I decided that I'm at eight hours. I don't actually know. It's three o'clock. My eye hurts so bad. <laughs> don't get sunscreen in your eyes. I'm gonna crochet as much as I can for the rest of the day and I will update you later. Bye. sewed the last piece on so now I'm ready to like actually put it together <laughs> and I realized that I don't know how to do that so I'm gonna have to watch that video that I was watching again but anyway here's one of the sleeves <laughs> I'm really excited hello get the sleeves front panels and the back Look how pretty these colors are. 
All right, so that added on, what, two hours? So we are at 10 hours now, so that's almost halfway through. I guess that's all I got. Um, watch inside. Hello. So, uh, I put on more Bo Burnham specials. Uh, that's what I'm watching today. Anyway, I went to sew the sleeves together, you know. And I realized that I sewed them the wrong way. <laughs> they were supposed to, let me show you. So these are the sleeves and they were supposed to fold this way, not this way. So I have to undo those and sew them the right way. So that's a good like half hour of my time that I need to fix. So there's an update. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> It is now nighttime. I watched the other two Bo Burnham specials on Netflix and pretty much, okay, I still have to finish the sleeves. I have to put the cuff on, which I don't know how I'm gonna do that because this is the length of the sleeve and this is the cuff. <laughs> I seriously have no clue what I'm doing. I don't know if I need to like drawstring this and put the cuff on. And then I gotta sew the sleeves to the thing. But it is looking kind of like a jacket now. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll talk more on this on uh, the video for the specific sweater if I haven't already. But like, I don't know. I just want it over with at some point. Um, at this point, I think I'm, hello. Hello. At this point, I think I'm at 12. Anyway, at this point I am at 12 hours. So I'm halfway through my 24 hours. As I was saying, I'm halfway through the 24 hours. I was having a fun time until this sweater so I really just want to get this over with so I can have fun with the rest of my projects because I know those are going to be less stressful. It is finally done. This took, so if you wanna see me like try it on and everything, or you just wanna learn more about this one, the video for the sweater is already up. <laughs> or it will be by the time I post this. I think the last time I left off, we were at 12 hours and I put three more hours into finishing this. Just like weaving in, I must have weaved in like about 50 ends here. They're actually all still right here. These are all the ends that I weaved in <laughs> and trimmed. It's so much. I also, in those three hours, weaved in the ends of these scrunchies. So these are ready to post. And it's time to start the lemon bag. So I do need to fulfill two orders this weekend. And someone also requested a pattern for that. So I gotta write the pattern. And then I need to make this bucket hat for my friend. Um, also by this weekend.
So currently I am watching a channel called Nina Lee. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, she's doing a lot of like fashion commentary, I think. I don't know, it's really entertaining. Like always, I will link everything that I've been watching in the description in case you guys wanna watch it while you crochet um, or just check it out in general. So that's what's going on. Hello. Today is Monday. I forget when I started this. Wednesday, maybe? Anyway, I only worked for, I think, three hours yesterday. I am almost done with the lemon bag order. And I also worked on like writing patterns for a while, but I didn't count that as 24 hours. And yesterday I also started on the custom bucket hat for my friend. Um, this is the original design for the bucket hat. I haven't written a pattern yet, so I'm just um, trying to copy that. And I was worried about this yarn being too thin. I made, I already unraveled it. Maybe I'll throw up a picture. I think I took a picture. Um, I used the same hook that I used for the prototype hat, which is a five and a half millimeter um, on just one strand. And it looked so bad. Yeah, it was almost, almost the same size as the size I needed for the granny squares, but it looked like really just thin and stringy and gross. So I doubled up the strands like this. So I doubled up each color and just worked um, doubled and that worked out a lot better. So I was panicking last night thinking that I had to go to the store um, with my non-existent money and buy new yarn, but it actually um, ended up being pretty much the same size. So we are good. I still might need more of the blue, especially now that I'm doubling up because that's gonna be the main body color. A few of these things done last night and now I just started working, or I've been working today for about an hour. That has four more hours, so we are at 19 hours. So we have five more hours to go. I don't know if I'll get done today, probably not. Probably tomorrow because I do have to film some other videos today and uh, just do some stuff around the house. Um, yesterday I listened to the podcast Ologies. We actually got up at like 5 a.m. and I sat out on the porch and that's where I worked. And the one I watched yesterday was about space junk. The creator of the podcast interviewed this lady who is a space archaeologist, I think was the thing. I don't know. I'll link it in the description like always, but it was so cool. I love uh, space. I love fun facts. 
So now I'm on a space kick and I've been watching How the Universe Works, which is on Discovery Plus, and I'm really into it. So I'm probably gonna finish this hat today at least because I really need to send these orders out tomorrow. Hello. So the 24 hours is over. I don't know how to feel. I can't tell if I got more done than I thought or less, but we're done. And I'm gonna show you what I made. I did it complete the 24 hours within a week. Um, it's just a few days later when I'm actually filming this. I did crochet for a seventh of my week. Like I said, let me show you what I made. If you're not new to this channel, I'm sure you've seen this by now. This video is already up. Um, this <laughs> took the longest. I thought this was only going to take like an hour or two to sew together, but it literally took me like half of the 24 hours because I had to sew. There's 52 of these squares, I think. 51? I don't know. I just sew all of them together. I, I think I showed you this, but I sewed the sleeve on like backwards. I don't know. It was a whole thing. Yeah, you can go watch the video <laughs> on that if you want. That took the longest. It is very comfy. I've been wearing it to work because I work right here and sometimes it's cold. The next thing, I took it apart to write a pattern. So that's why it looks all weird. And I actually did make another one. So I guess that is more than I thought. So I made two of these. I already shipped one out because one of them was an order that I so graciously got the first day that I posted these. And yeah, like I said, I wrote a pattern for the first time ever. So it's not perfect, but both the pattern and this bag like pre-made are on my Etsy shop, which you can find linked below. Check it out if you want. And what else? Okay. And you guys already saw these scrunchies that I made at the pool. So I made one, two, seven scrunchies. Very, 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 very fuzzy. I think I'm gonna do a beginner scrunchie tutorial in the next couple weeks. So if you wanna learn how to make these, they're very easy, I promise. Um, turn the notifications on so you can get notified for that. I finished this cat bed. I think when I started the video, I was like somewhere around here. The cats really like it. I'm sure I have inserted videos already. I pretty much just made a circle and sewed down the edges. The thing is though, like I didn't have the label for this yarn, so I didn't know what hook size to use. Uh, so I think I used the wrong one because it's very like, it doesn't flatten. So I've never blocked anything before, but I think I'm gonna try to block this so that it actually lays flat. But yeah, the cats really love this. Once I get more money for yarn, I will probably list these in the shop as well because it's a hit. It's a hit with the cats. And last but not least, I almost, almost finished this custom bucket hat. Remember how I said I didn't know if I was gonna have enough yarn? I literally need like five more rows on the brim of this. And of course, no store around me has the exact yarn that I need. So I had to order it online again. So it'll be here in a couple days. It's looking really cute so far. It is heavier than the acrylic that I usually use, but I think it'll be a little more 
like breathable and weather friendly. If you want a custom bucket hat like this or you want one that's already pre-made, those are also in my shop as well. The default is the acrylic yarn, which you can see pictures of in the Etsy. If you want like a cotton yarn or something like this, uh, just message me. I love making these, so I would love to make you one, you know? So that is what I made in 24 hours. That is what 24 hours of crochet looks like, at least for my speed and skill level. Um, I hope you were able to crochet along with me. Please let me know what you are working on in the comments because I would love to know. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and show me your works in progress. This was actually pretty fun and productive, so I can see myself doing this again. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like it so I can know if you actually want to watch me do this again. If this is the first video of mine that you are watching, hello, thank you for staying all the way to the end. I hope we stay friends. On this channel, I am posting more and more crochet content. I also do things like clothing hauls, subscription boxes, just whatever I feel like doing. So if that interests you, feel free to stick around. It would mean a lot. And I think that's all I got. If you made it this far in the video, show me that you are super cool by dropping a lemon emoji somewhere in your comment. Goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you stay hydrated. I hope you get the rest that you deserve, which is a lot. And I will see you next time.